All right, guys. So we got us another OBS in the shop. Um, this is my buddy's truck. Uh, we used to run around together in high school and do all sorts of stuff together. So I'm fixing it up for him. Um, he had an issue here recently. He popped the rear end, popped the rear diff out and uh, brought it over here. We're going to pull a full axle housing in it. But first, we're going to lift this truck up. We're going to tear into the original rear end and we're going to see exactly what went wrong. So let's get it up in the air and let's go. All right, so we definitely have a visual hole in this rear diff cover, but I'm gonna try to set up the uh, tripod high enough where you guys can see me pull this off and we'll see what's inside of this thing. But apparently he was just hauling a gooseneck with hay loaded down on it and that's whenever it popped. So we're gonna dig into it and find out, let's go. gear just came apart. But the bolts backed out of his ring gear. I figured we'd find more carnage than that. Like you can see here, bolt completely backed out there and it's down here. But the bolt started turning out. That's weird. I never seen that before. Well, all right. We we're gonna start disconnecting the brake lines, disconnect the drive shaft. We already have a whole new like replacement rear axle for this. We're just gonna take this one out. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do with it just yet, but we might be able to sell it as a rebuildable rear axle. Cause I mean, that's not that bad, but all right, let's go. Is it bad that I've done this enough times that I already knew what size wrench and socket to go and get to take this? brake hose off of this axle <laughs> oh gosh that's some freaking crazy stuff right there though like literally coming right out i don't understand it like the pinion bearings loose but i wouldn't think that the pinion bearing being loose would wiggle the ring gear loose but that's weird like i don't never seen that before but we're gonna get this brake line took part and then take the shocks off take the drive shaft out and then yeah lower the truck down and drop the u-bolts let's go all right now we need a t45 drive shaft straps u-joint straps and then i think the shock bolts are an 18 let's go find out boom 18, right there. Check it out. Got the T45 here for the drive shaft. It's a little twisted, but it works. Get them ripped off. All right, we got the e-brake cable disconnected. Got the shock bolts out. Got the U-joint straps off. Drive shaft's over here. Got it taped up so the caps don't come off. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and let her down. Let the U-bolts out. Oh, we got to disconnect the speed sensor there. Disconnect that. Then let it down and let the U-bolts out. Lift her back up. Let the axle on the ground. Let's go. So before I set it on the ground, I figured I'd go ahead and take the wheels and tires off and then put the outer doors back on with the inner doors off. Um, that way I can still roll the axle around once it's down and I'll have another set of tires put on the other rear axle to roll it in here later to put it back under here. But look at this, the freaking axle shaft bolts were starting to back out. Like what the heck? What do you guys think causes that? Let me know in the comments. Cause this side's the same one. This one, this side's sheared off. Like, where's it at? Oh, that one's loose. I can turn that one. This one's sheared off. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. We're going to keep going. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, I did the tires. 
Got the tires off. Um, had some lug nuts slapped back on these so they don't roll off on me. I already loosened up the U-bolts here. So now we're gonna drop the truck down the rest of the way, get the tires set on the floor, and then pull the U-bolts out and lift the truck back up. So let's go. Got that side pulled off. I'm doing this side now. It's good douche. Pull these suckers off. All right, lift her up. Roll this axle out. All right, got her off. So I'm gonna roll this one outside now and take these tires out to the other axle that's outside on the ground. That tire there, that tire there, with a couple lug nuts and the floor jack. Go out there, lift that axle up, roll it around, roll it under here, roll this one out on the pad. And then we'll take the tires off of this one out on the pad and then whatever else parts we need off the brake drums of this axle go on the other one but we'll get it up in there tonight all right guys we got both axles in the shop now this is the new axle that we're going to put in the truck and then the old axles in the back just in case i need to rob any like brake parts or anything like that off the old axle i already took the brake hose it's over there on the floor i already took that off of here and i had to take this line off with it so I'm gonna have to take this line off of that axle and use that breather tube nut on this axle. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this diff cover off, clean this surface and reseal it because it's leaking down here. You can see where it's seeping out. So I'm gonna take that diff cover off, clean those surfaces up with the wire wheel and the grinder and then put a new uh, gasket maker over it and reseal it and then check that my bleed screws both break loose correctly on both sides and after that i'm, I'm gonna set it up and pick it up on here so let's get to it guys we got her all sealed up i went ahead and checked my bleed screws they both pop loose so we're not twisting those off we're gonna go ahead and line her up get her stuck up in the truck let's go All right, guys, we got the drive shaft bolted up, got the shocks bolted up, the axle's in there. Um, I did get the brake lines hooked up over here, so we're good on that. Um, <clears throat> I got the tires off, and I started pulling the brake drums off. I got this brake drum off, and we got a bad wheel seal here on this hub. And this brake drum I've been beating on, and I can't seem to get it off, so. I'm gonna talk it over with the customer. We're gonna come back in the morning and get back at it. But I'm gonna lock up for tonight and call it good. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back in the shop. See my little handy dandy light here. My daddy got me that for Christmas. <laughs> back in the shop, we're gonna do these wheel seals. Um, so we're gonna start by taking the axle shaft off, taking the hub apart, so we can get to the back side of the hub to do wheel seal. So. We're gonna set the tripod up, put time lapse on, get to it, let's go.
I'm gonna try something. <clears throat> We're gonna take the wheels off of that and pop the drums off of the old axle, the original axle from this truck. I'm gonna pop those drums off and see what the insides of those look like. And if those are dry, we're gonna swap those drums for this axle. Because O'Reilly's had to order this seal, but I went ahead and took it apart because I thought I had one here, and I don't. So I'm gonna see what I can do to get it together for the guy without sinking a bunch of time and money into it. Let's go, over there. issues with that one too. Pulled that hub off and uh, the seal stayed on the axle. But we got good brake pads and we got good brake drums to put back on the new axle. So just need a seal. All right guys we went ahead and took both hubs apart on that old axle um, and I got the brake pads and the hub off the driver's side of the old axle. Um, I got the e-brake cable put onto the new axle on the truck. We're gonna use the brake pads and the brake drums from the original axle, because they were like brand new. There's still like tons of life left in that stuff. So I'm swapping the brake pads over now, and we'll put the drums on, get the new hubs on first before the drums. Um, yeah, get it going. We got enough to make it happen. Let's go. back together finally I am filthy but we got it all done up brakes and hubs are all back together everything's tight and she's ready to rock on to the next one roll on peace out guys thanks for watching